going to show you how to uh, configure my favorite bear hang. I've done lots of different bear hangs, both while uh, kayak camping and hiking. And this is my favorite one because one, it's really easy to hoist heavy loads up in the tree, thanks to a pulley system with a three to one mechanical advantage. Uh, also, you never pull over the branch uh, when the rope is loaded. Uh, so uh, there's no chafing on the branch and no chafing of the um, rope itself. And finally, you can put the rope uh, where the branch attaches right to the trunk, close to the trunk. Uh, and that means that you don't have any issues with uh, bending branches or branches that slope down or that get weak the further out you get from the trunk. So let's get started. First of all, we have the rope. This is a hundred foot rope. I like something that's a little thicker. This is quarter inch. I got this at NRS. It has a nylon sheath with a Spectra core. Uh, it's nice to have something that's reasonably smooth on the outside. Second, we have carabiners. You really only need two. Uh, I find that three is even more useful. We'll look at that when we get to it. So these are just regular climbing carabiners. And finally, we have two pulleys. They have aluminum sides and a stainless steel pin uh, axle. And uh, they're very lightweight and uh, I got that from NRS as well. Part one is to get the rope over the branch. So I take the rope and I just put it loosely on the ground like this. And once I get to the other end, I'm gonna attach something heavy to it. I prefer to attach a rock. If you don't have any rocks, then you can just fill a bag with sand or something else. This part is usually the humorous part because I'm so bad at throwing rocks over branches and Jonathan usually mocks me when this happens. This is a rock 2000 that I got from NRS. Do whatever you can to attach the rope to the rock. Um, usually they fall over. Just make sure that you don't hit yourself in the head with it when it comes down. All right, let's see how this goes. And if you practice at home, you can do it the first time too. Step two, by now you should have a short end and a long end. So first we wanna give ourselves some extra rope over here and how much you need depends on where you're gonna tie it off to. I think I'm gonna tie it off to this uh, log over here. So I think that's enough. Now, in the long end, we're now gonna create a bow on the line. So the knot that I pr uh, prefer to create a bow in the line here is what's called an alpine butterfly. And to do that, I wrap it twice around my hand. So now you should have three lines, one going down. This one is the upper one. And then I come in and I take the middle one under the right line and I pull that out. And then I pull this one over and then tuck it under those two lines. And now you should have an alpine butterfly knot. And the benefit of this particular bow is that it, uh, it can take a load really well from two directions. Now we have the line that we threw over the branch that's gonna attach to the log over here. We have our bow in the long end of the line. And we have one of the pulleys and one of the carabiners. I'm gonna clip the carabiner onto our alpine butterfly loop. Next, I'm gonna put the pulley onto the rope and click that into the carabiner. Now, as I pull on the end that is attaching to the log, I wanna hold on to this part. I don't want that to go up in the air. Also, 
I am not going to pull this all the way up to the top because when we're all said and done, I want to be able to pull the bags and everything that will hang up there out away from the trunk of the tree. So I'm going to stop right here. Now we have the perfect height of the block up there, the pulley, and I'm going to attach this end. I'm just going to do a simple knot for now. I'm going to attach it to this log so that when I go back here, and I pull on this end, it doesn't move down. Next, we're going to use the second pulley and the second carabiner onto the loop that goes up over the branch and the other end goes up to the first pulley. So the way we do that is we just put the pulley over the rope and we click it in and this is where you're going to attach your bags of food. So now we're ready to hoist the bags up in the tree. We clip them on like this and we pull. And it's very easy because we have the mechanical advantage of the pulley. And I pull it as far as it wants to go, which is to there. Now the bag is in the tree, so all we have to do is tie it off. And I'm going to use my last and third carabiner to do that. So I'm pulling the bag well off the trunk of the tree. I'm doing a simple double butterfly here clipping the carabiner into it and then clipping the carabiner into the tree. The benefit of this is that it's very easy to take the load down and up when somebody forgets to put their toothbrush in there. So as you can see there's no way that a bear could climb the tree and reach that bag. It can't reach it from the ground. It's 100% foolproof. It's the best bear hang ever. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah.